Hi, I'm Tom and this is Adult Game Reviews. This week I played The DeLuca Family by Hopes Gaming. I was in the middle of playing through The DeLuca Family when Hopes Games reached out to me to give me a review copy of the game on Steam. So I jumped into the Steam version and I have a key to give away. More on that later. I remember when I watched Goodfellas for the first time. I was definitely too young for it. And when I went to school, I kept saying, funny how? Funny like a clown? Well, I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you? Unfortunately, none of the other kids around me had seen it, so no one got the joke. Anyway, it's an understatement to say I've been a huge fan of Mafia movies and games. Everything from The Godfather... Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. The Departed... World needs plenty of bartenders! The Raid 2... God, so good. The life is pretty attractive. If you have power and a whole group of people that would die for you. If you're at the top of the hierarchy, it's the ultimate freedom. But if you look closer, you see the world is dominated by rules and restrictions. The DeLuca follows some of these rules and tropes, but it's its own unique story. In all the mafia movies, they start by explaining the rules first. In The Godfather, you have Michael Corleone if he comes back from World War II, and Sam Rothstein in Casino as he goes to Vegas. You see how the world is built, so you can focus on the individual characters. The DeLuca family doesn't quite do this. You play the main character who was on a contract from one of the five big mafia families, the DeLucas. You learn the world and its rules as the character learns, which is throughout the entire VN. You are brought in by the Donna of the family, Lady Cordia, to live in the mansion with the consigliere Uncle Wilfred, Antonio the future Don and his wife Isabella, and the two ladies of the family, the smart and beautiful Gracie, and the crazy but talented Luna. You don't know why you have a contract to serve the DeLucas, and you're also not really sure why you're being allotted the privilege of staying in the main house. All right, on to the review. There are three versions of the game, the full story, which includes the actual story, but other RPG and choose your own adventure like mechanics and free roams, just the story and the free roams, and just the pure VN. I played the full story so I could report on the full experience. It took me between 15 to 20 hours to play through the main story. The DeLuca Family is on Windows, Mac, and Linux. By the way, if you're interested in winning a free copy of the DeLuca Family, here's how you enter. One, you have to be 18 plus. Two, you have to have a Steam account. Three, friend me over on Steam. You can see my Steam link in the description. And four, comment down below with the hashtag the DeLuca Family. Good luck to you all. So the whole VN is segmented into chapters. You have the main story, you have main events, which are triggered events. You have Isabella's, Gracie's, and Luna's individual storylines. Each storyline is only available after certain criteria are met. This can range from doing jobs to earn money and gear. You also have to see other storylines to continue with the main story. As you earn gear, you can upgrade your stats to make jobs easier. As you earn money, you can lock new quests or even events by buying certain things. So there are times that the VN can be pretty grindy. In general, I feel like the VN started slow. The story chapters seem short and kind of disjointed like the VN had no idea what it was trying to be. You all of a sudden were swept up in the family without a whole lot of direction. As the VN goes on, it becomes more clear what it's trying to be. I think of it like the Suicide Squad, but as gangsters. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Let's go number two. You have a goofy set of characters who are fun, but it gives a weird tone at times. You're supposed to feel the pressure of the situations presented, but you have a guy with a flail, a Catholic priest and two nuns, the main character from Project Passion, Crazy Luna, and another whole cast of characters that were pretty funny. Once I got used to this, I actually started to like a lot of the characters. This isn't even mentioning my favorite character. How could I forget Cannoli? I mean, sorry, Joey. The visuals were good, even though early on it felt like most of my time was spent on the map menu or the work menu. To me, good visuals went to waste a little. Same thing with the writing. Early on, there were typos and some stilted dialogue, but the writing and the renders did improve as time went on. The chapter 11 story felt longer than almost all the other individual chapter stories combined. The renders are pretty and they tend to lean into the overexposed kind of style, which I actually kind of like. So this is where you're going to have some disagreement and I think it's with the mechanics. You get quests based on your level. Only the first level of jobs were open to you in season one. I'm guessing higher level jobs will be open to you in future seasons, but not quite yet. Unfortunately, the UI can be a bit clunky. Make sure when you are looking at the journal, you go to events and scroll all the way down. I found this guide way too late, which wasn't crazy obvious it was there, and I wish I had it at the beginning. Next, you gotta talk about the jobs themselves. You have choose your own adventure text-based game when you were doing work missions. You have to do these multiple times to get enough money to finish the main story. There are free roams where you're given the same text style map, but the visual cutscenes are included. I got tired of the text style map when doing jobs. I completed almost all the jobs at the max level, but they aren't easy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can find unique renders throughout doing them, but I got pretty tired of the repetition of your work quests. The free rooms were a lot more fun and felt like they were much more valuable. A few of the free room missions have a lot of action in them, which were awesome. This is where I felt like the VN's personality started to show. They're heavy moments, especially with Luna's story, and it can be pretty violent at times, just FYI. However, we do have to address the elephant in the room. I gave the inn a little crap for being in development for six years. The DeLuca family has been in development for five years, so still a pretty long time. Also, I'm going to use baseball references when discussing the level of loot content. The most loot content you get is getting to third base, mostly. 
By the end, you do have a chance to hit a home run, but just so you know, it took me the majority of the VN to get to any real content. There's even a troll in there by Hopes Games dunking on all the people that are criticizing the game for the lack of lewd content. If you're playing the DeLuca family, you are doing it for the slow build of relationships and the story. You're either okay with this or you're not. So all of this is to say, did I like the DeLuca family? Yes, I did. I enjoyed the story and some of the free roams, but if when I jump back into the DeLuca family, it will likely just be in the pure VN mode without the mechanics. I feel like the mechanics were a bit too grindy for my personal taste, but the story was unique and intriguing and I enjoyed the girls and the crazy group of characters. So this is a play for me with some caveats. I have no idea how much the DeLuca family will cost on Steam, so you have to decide for yourself if you think it'll be worth it. Also, due to the five-year development of season one, you have to be okay with playing through season one without likely getting anything more in a long time. So. Don't forget to comment down below for a chance to win a free copy of the DeLuca family. Thank you all to my patrons. If you want to consider being a patron, you can check down below. I'm debating starting a subscribe star since a lot of people don't like Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. If you haven't seen my review of the inn, you can check that out right here. Thanks again. Until next time.